Welcome, I'm here with David De Costa, the CEO of Infoled EM. We're at his new offices in Melksham in Wiltshire. David, hi. Hi, delighted to join you. Now, tell us a little bit about uh, Melksham and your new offices. They're getting an official opening very soon, I believe. Yes, we have the official opening tomorrow. We have uh, approximately 60 visitors and guests, um, all who are clients rather than just uh, visitors. Um, and we've got our, our Chinese partners um, all flying over the main directors from Shenzhen to open the facility tomorrow afternoon. Brilliant. Now tell us a little bit about Infoled in, I guess they're in Shenzhen. This is the first time that pretty much all the founders have traveled together to see you. What's the relationship? How did, how did the relationship come, up, come about and, and, and what is it? Yeah, I went looking for um, a strategic partner and we almost by accident fell into each other. And it's possibly the best coincidence and falling into of any uh, opportunity that uh, we both believe that we've ever um, encountered and right. had. Uh, so we were very fortunate with it and uh, we met in Shenzhen. Mm -hmm. uh, I went around their factory, they shared their vision, um, they talked about their um, birth and their heritage mm -hmm. and uh, candidly I was blown away by what they were doing and mm -hmm. how they had done it. Now they've been around about nine years, I think they're celebrating their tenth year next year. They're yeah. the fifth largest LED manufacturer in China, so you probably chose quite well. They were, they've they're quite big in rental, and I've often seen them at ISC in Amsterdam over the years with a big rental stage. But you're you're responsible for the you're the strategic partner for fixed installations in Europe, Middle East, and Africa, I believe. Yes, I don't think that um, Infoled, uh, we call it HQ, um, needed any really additional support in um, scaling their rental business. Uh, they have such iconic um, um, sites and events that they've been uh, running and managing for. Oh, as you say, for nine years. Where um, Infinite wanted to uh, build their business and build their opportunities was on the fixed installation mm -hmm. side, both uh, for indoor and outdoor opportunities. Um, currently, uh, or in the past few years, they almost had zero market share um, on the fixed installation side. Right. Yes, on the rental side, they were, uh, and have been for several years, a top three manufacturer. Right. Now you've helped them grow quite a bit, I think, in the two years you've been with them. Dubai in particular has, has seen a lot of output, um, output outdoor stuff in Dubai. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I think that uh, one of the designs that we have all, um, allows for uh, uh, natural ventilation of the cabinets. Uh, one of the challenges in Dubai and the GCC in general um, is heat. Uh, and our cabinets um, operate um, fully and capably up to 55 degrees, mm -hmm. 60 degrees. So you know, after we put in our first um, displays on places like Sheikh Zayed Road, um, it, it becomes a massive reference site and, and it gives people confidence that they can have outdoor mm -hmm. in the heat of Dubai with um, yep. almost zero failure. Now, I understand that Infocom this year in a couple of months time, maybe a couple of weeks time, mm -hmm. um, Infoled are gonna launch a new outdoor product which is going to be high definition, so that should help a little bit as well. But surely you've seen retail and shopping malls as the big growth sector in the rest of Europe, or is that not right? Yeah, well, we've been very fortunate. Uh, we've been very fortunate working with the right partners um, and the right integrators. Um, we've been very fortunate that some of the larger shopping malls um, throughout the UK and Europe have bought into the infrared technology, and we have some quite iconic um, sites um, in the UK mm -hmm. um, as well as in Europe. Um, and you know, we're now hoping that the U.S. market and some of the U.S. malls, especially the same branded malls in the U.S., uh, will adopt the infrared uh, narrow pixel pitch indoor displays. Right. Now, you literally started off two years ago as one man and his dog. How many employees are you up to now here? Uh, now up to 15, 15 uh, persons and a dog. So dog Still remains. A dog. You've got yeah. two dogs now. We've got two dogs. So we've grown. Uh, we now have uh, um, two dogs, 15 people, and, yeah, and it's growing. Uh, we don't want to overburden ourselves with resource. Uh, we do run a pretty tight mm. ship, but it, it's led by the requirement to, not, it's not about just selling. Um, our whole match is about servicing and supporting. Mm. Which is pretty important for any LED manufacturer. Very much so. Yeah. Okay. Now the other thing that you, we've seen you at the shows, you, you, I mean the show people must love you for a visitor, for both visiting and exhibiting. We've seen you at DSE visiting over the last couple of years, Infocom, you often visit. Um, you exhibited at ISC this year with Infoled but you've been a big supporter of both New York and London Digital Signage Week. Explain a little bit about how that works in your marketing strategy. First of all, I think um, New York Digital Signage Week, which was the precursor for London Digital Signage Week, um, it's not just about networking, um, it's about learning. 
Um, it's like uh, meeting people, um, how other people do things. Um, the best thing to do is um, learn from other people's mis uh, mistakes, other people's excesses. For whatever reason, New York Digital Signage Week, with the amount of events that take place, you have an opportunity where people are welcoming, they want to share with you their technologies, their, their solutions. Um, it, it's almost incredibly so open that mm -hmm. it, it's, 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 it's almost an incredible. I don't see it in any other industry. Um, and I think London Digital Signage Week is, has followed suit. Um, we've got a number of events uh, coming up here. We're a great supporter of it. We, um, as you're aware, are sponsoring the launch party uh, for London Digital Signage Week. Um, and the events that go on there are events that every single person associating digital out of home, the AV sector, the signage, right, there is a, a, a role and an active uh, place for people to join into. Mm. Well, thank you for your support of the week. It's great that you've done that. You've, done, you've, you're, you've actually supported the official launch party twice in your career. I have previously, yes. which is very good. I mean, they've both been very memorable and very drinky, <laughs> but, but, but we won't mention that on air. Um, so lastly, and the last question, where, where, where do you see Infoled in, in the next year or so? As you mentioned, Agent, uh, Infoled is already, uh, from the Chinese perspective, is the fifth largest LED manufacturer. We see the opportunity um, in the European market or the EMEA market in, within the next three years, uh, by 2021, that Infoled can become the number one supplier um, to the EMEA marketplace by um, production. Our current production globally is 6,000 square meters. Uh, we, we are looking to increase that to eight to 9,000, but the, uh, we believe that the proportion of that will um, propel us to being the leading LED manufacturer and supplier um, in EMEA. That's our objective. David, thank you. Thank you very much.